have for my great challenge it's Monday night um, this is the cup I found at the world market yesterday and that's basically the only thing I purchased over the weekend um, and I really, really like it I didn't want to continue using uh, my kids little bowl because I was afraid I would break it so this was three dollars and forty four cents I think it's got little flowers here on one side and it's just perfect for matcha or even a small soup actually so it's Monday Mat Dash Monday as usual uh, we're in zone 2 which is kitchen so what I'm gonna do is um, not much <laughs> because I have to edit tomorrow's video uh, I have to take Willie to karate that's one thing um, the kitchen is all right right now um, but uh, we did make the um, sorry the dog's drinking we did make the uh, apple butter yesterday and I'm gonna insert a picture because our friend came in at 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, to blend it <laughs> I guess he really wanted to have it he said it was very good so I guess we're gonna try it but um, it's gonna turn bad so what I have to do is boil some water and um, sanitize some um, mason jars that I have and then I'm just gonna basically can uh, the rest so that it, it doesn't perish it stays you know long on the shelves and just keep one for him and one for me here at the house and then whenever anybody runs out we have some spare so that's basically what I'm gonna do before Willie goes to karate is uh, take care of that and um, for dinner tonight I'm gonna make chicken tenders I'm gonna do uh, breaded chicken tenders with some vegetable and probably some rice so that's what's for dinner if I have time I may do a little bit of fly lady in the kitchen which I don't think I will but you never know so I'll see you in a second so all I'm doing right now is pretty much uh, boil some of these little guys right here um, they're just small mason jars and they're perfect for jams so I'm putting them in there with the lid and they're just gonna boil once it's boiled I'll turn it off and just let them sit in there just like when you sterilize um, baby food or baby bottles basically and this is the apple butter um, from yesterday which was blended by our friend this afternoon so I think I'm gonna have enough jars and maybe I'll have some leftovers so the leftovers is gonna have to be eaten within a week okay this is boiling it's five or six I'm just gonna turn that off and I'm gonna pull those jars out and line them up fill them up and place them back in at which point I'll boil the water just a tiny bit and just shut it off and let it sit in there for about an hour Wow, um, I just tried it. It's really sweet. It's good, but it's really sweet. <laughs> but anyway, that's what he wants. Um, four cups of sugar, I think, is way too much. If it was me, I only put two. But anyway, uh, so he's got four jars, and I got some leftovers. So the leftovers is gonna stay here. Um, I think I got another jar somewhere in there. I'm gonna use that, and then um, it's almost yeah, it's 5:15. So I gotta take Willie to karate. And then when I come back, um, 
I'll edit a video and then I'll prepare dinner and I think I'm gonna leave it at that for today. So I'm still using this thing here, that Kusori slow cooker that they've sent me because I'm trying to do every possible way of cooking with it to see whether or not it's really worth it. So far I really love it and you've noticed that I've been using it quite a lot but apparently it does rice too. So what you need to do is just put the amount of rice that you want. I'm going to do um, three cups. So I'm just going to put three cups of rice in here. I'm going to see how long it takes. So this is the uh, kind of goof proof um, thing that I like. So I have three cups of rice already in there. And if I put three cups of rice, I need to put water up to here, basically. This is the maximum line for the whole pot. So I'm going to put water up to here and I'm going to add one of those um, curry cubes that I have. I hope you guys don't mind me cooking every night, right? And showing you what's for dinner. Okay, so up to... I need to add some more. That's it. Okay. This is golden curry. I use it quite a lot. It comes in little um, cubes like this. And you just take it, throw it in there. And that's going to basically flavor the rice. And then here you can either do normal cooking or fast cooking. I'm going to do fast cooking. I want to see how fast it goes. All right, so let's start. It's 7.15. All I do is clean. All I do is clean the house, the kitchen, every single day, non-stop, like everybody else, right? Okay. Um, before I can even entertain doing any type of fly lady in here, I need to clean. So you see one of the things I like the most about the fly lady is that uh, you don't sweat it. If you don't have time, you don't have time, okay? You do something else. Um, right now it looks like tomorrow's video is encoded. So I'm just going to go ahead and start uploading it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I just got, um, that's two days wash. I put it in this morning before I left. Um, and that's basically kitchen wraps and towels. That's it. Hold on. And Scott just got back with Willie. See, 7.30, right? Okay, so if you don't have time, you don't have time. So you don't sweat it. Um, but there's always... 15 minutes ladies you always have 15 minutes to do something okay 
So I'm going to spend 15 minutes um, doing this, putting all my kitchen towels and my racks back together. And then once that's done, I'll start cooking the vegetables and the chicken. For kitchen rags, I just use those, um, some of them have stains I can't remove. You know what? They still wash. They still clean. <laughs> um, you know those uh, washcloth, that's what I use. Works just the same. Wait. This. I have the same problem with these that I have with towels. I never fold them the same way. I'm challenging that area too, you know. Okay, this one was sent to me by Susan, I think. Well, he's back. Are you recording? Yeah. Hello. Emily. Hey. Receipt. Oh, is that the receipt for uh, karate? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is a real vintage um, tea towel that, that Bonnie sent me and it's pretty large. It's made out of, uh, um, what is it, flower sacks and it's embroidered, you see that, with a little house that actually looks just like our house. And she sent me a set, I think there's maybe 10 of them. These are fantastic to dry dishes. Well, they're dish towels, but they're great for um, glassware. So if you can find some of those, get them. Okay, and I keep all of my kitchen rags right here. And since it's fly lady zone two, I'm going to reorganize this. I'm not putting any um, salt and pepper or herbs or anything in it because my bread crumbs are Italian bread crumbs. And that's basically where the flavor is gonna come. Okay, and in here, I'm gonna put flour. And the third one is for breadcrumbs, and I'm using Progresso uh, Italian style breadcrumbs. And all I'm doing is taking um, chicken tenders, dipping them in the egg, in 
the flour, dipping in the egg again, and in the breadcrumbs. That's it. This is the Mediterranean virgin olive oil from Aldi and you know what it's actually not bad it's um, extra virgin it smells good love my copper chef In the meantime, I don't know if you can see over there, but this is done. Um, I actually had to leave that open because it overflowed and it's pretty much cooked. It's 751. You guys remember when I started it? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a little soggy. I don't know if you can see, right? But not too bad. So I'm going to leave it like that. So the plan here is to let the chicken cook and then once the chicken is done, I'm going to put it on the plate, cover it to the side. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of my pan, you know, kind of not deglaze it per se, but add a little bit of flavor and um, moisture with the olive oil, throw the garlic in it and then I have um, broccoli and asparagus and that's going to go in there, saute for a little bit, cover it let it steam and dinner will be ready. It's eight o'clock y'all, I'm almost done. It's exactly 8.15 right there and dinner is done. Look at my hair. It rained all day. Okay, that's what happened. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? This haircut does me no favor. Okay, no favor. That's what I need to go to work with. Yeah, like this. There you go. Right? How'd you like that? Simon and Goffin call look. Oh. <laughs> I need a haircut. Um, kitchen is clean. Hold on. 
No, not that part. That part's not clean. This part here is clean. This is all clean. Okay, I recleaned everything. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing that as part of the uh, Fly Lady. That's my 15 minutes declutter. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, and I'm going to serve a plate so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we got rice. And I'm going to give you a uh, review on the rice. Uh, let's look at it. That was at the fast cooking. It's a little stuck together. I gotta be honest, I've never been able to cook rice. I am not good at rice. I always mess it up, so I don't know. You tell me. It's all right for me. Oops. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got rice, we got broccoli, and that's going to be Edwards, um, I think that's plenty. Edward eats a lot, so that's dinner tonight. So this was another Mad Brush Monday, I hope you enjoyed it. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, once everything is served, I am done for the night. Everybody, thank you very much. Everybody is um, everybody is going to clean for me uh, because I'm done. Okay, so I see you tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe right here in the corner, and I will talk to you later. Bye.